Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bert Coppens <clears throat> and today I bring you a truly rare moth. This is perhaps the rarest Saturnid species I've shown so far on my channel. Only a handful of people have ever seen these insects. Let me talk you, to you about this biology a little bit. You are currently looking at one of the rarest species of Saturnidae sud moths in the entire hobby. They are so rare and valuable, 25 eggs of this species can sell for over $80. When a female lays about 100 eggs, they can lay over $320 in eggs per single female. The eggs are precious and valuable because this is a rarely collected Saturnidae moth. In fact, less than six people worldwide have ever raised this species and I was among the first people to ever breed this species and research their life cycle in captivity. I am one of the only people who has ever seen the caterpillars and the moths of this species on the entire planet. They are so rare that a dead male and female in good condition can sell for hundreds of dollars in some instances. The species is found on the border of two states in Mexico, named Durango and Jalisco. Here the species flies during the day. That's right, this moth is a day-active Saturnid species, and when it's sunny the males begin to fly and look for females. They eat from plants from the Fabaceae family, and in captivity they love Robinia but also Salix. The caterpillars are red-brownish and live in groups and have toxic little stingers on their back. I raised over 70 pupa of this species. The value of 70 pupa in terms of specimens would be over $5,250 if I sold all of this pupa. So I could go on a nice vacation for sure. But I didn't, because I don't breed moths for the sake of money, but for the sake of knowledge. But just saying, this species is so rare, it was thought to have gone extinct for a long time, in fact, until a team of biologists rediscovered them in the wild. Their abdomen is very colorful, because when they are angry, they show a thread pose. This serves to scare away predators that may be intimidated by these pretty and yet impressive colors. Is it working? Do you feel threatened yet? Overall, this is a species that is reserved for the most legendary of breeders alone. So if you can breed this species, I am impressed, because you have bred a top species. I hope you enjoyed watching this ultra rarity. Bye bye. The good news is I will be working on a life cycle video, a big life cycle video on this species. Because it's pretty much the rarest moth that I've probably had on my channel so far, and the most valuable one. It's exquisite, it's very sought after by the silk moth uh, community, by entomologists who study silk moths. So it's going to gather a lot of attention if we film the life cycle of this insect. This is not a species that newbies can uh, easily obtain or breed. It's very expensive and tricky to breed. If you are a breeder who has raised this species in captivity and has bred it, then I will say I am impressed. You are among the top of the Saturnid breeders. Because you have bred Paradirphia fumosa, one of the rarest, most exquisite species. You have to be really, really lucky and have really good contacts in this hobby to be able to obtain and breed them. This was Bart Coppens, the sexy moth king, with a short educational video about a very rare species. Experts will love this one.